When a muscle is damaged, it signals surrounding adult stem cells, called satellite cells, to travel to the damaged area and help repair it. Now, University of Missouri researchers have discovered how cells located far away from the injury can find their way to the damaged muscle. Using time-lapse microscopic photos, the researchers were able to follow the movement of the satellite cells over narrow stripes of proteins called efferents to guide their journey to the damaged muscle. So it's like someone is yelling, you can tell what direction they're at and how far away they are. And so the muscle somewhere is yelling for help. And the cells are going to try to find their way there, except it's almost like you're blindfolded. And so what the cells do is they, they reach out and they touch around them, and they use these efferins and other guidance cues as, as sort of a way so they can go in a straight line up the muscle to they get to the point where it's damaged, and then they stop. And they'll divide until there's enough new cells to replace whatever's been damaged. Cornelison believes that this discovery could be very useful for treating debilitating muscle diseases. Uh, particularly in neuromuscular diseases like Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, what we've been working towards for a long time is trying to find a way to basically take functional satellite cells and graft them into the damaged muscle and get them to spread out and replace the damaged muscle with tissue that has a good gene so that basically you fix the problem long term as well as fixing the the issue short term so you know this might be a clue to to enhancing this kind of cell therapy this study was funded by the national institutes for health for the mu news bureau i'm nathan hurst